Now, uh, let's take a look at the uh, structures of amino acids. If you do not understand the structure of amino acid, you will never be able to understand the structure of proteins. Here is the general structure of amino acids. Each amino acid has an amino group right here on one terminal end and carboxylic acid group right here on the other terminal end. But here is another way to describe amino acid. And since um, amino group is basic, it can be protonated. Like that. And also, uh, COOH is acid. That's why it can be deprotonated right here. The R portion located in the center depends on the type of amino acid, and it's called the side chain. There are 20 different amino acids that can be found within proteins, excluding special amino acids. In biochemistry textbooks, these 20 amino acids can be categorized by physical properties such as hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity. But it's not fine enough. But here, let's use taste as a criterion for categorization. The amino acids taste differently. As I mentioned earlier, glutamic acid and aspartic acid are umami amino acids. They also, these are sweet amino acids. That I'm not gonna uh, show you the structures, but other amino acids are usually bitter. The level of sweetness or bitterness differs even within the same category. So for example, uh, the baling right here is, baling right here is categorized as a sweet amino acid, but it tastes slightly bitter. The cysteine and methionine, which are categorized as bitter amino acids, taste slightly sweet. Tyrosine uh, tastes bitter, but only slightly. The combination of amino acids in a food determines its taste. A good example is the taste of sea urchin, we call uni in Japanese. It's a, it is a popular topping on the Japanese sushi. The sea urchin contains diverse amino acids, such as glutamic acid, glycine, alanine, valine, and methionine, as well as the amino acid components, inosine and granulic acid. Glutamic acid and the umami components of nucleic acid contribute much to the good flavor of uni. Also, the presence of sweet amino acids, such as glycine, alanine, and valine, as well as uh, bitter amino acids like methionine, contributes to the complex flavor of the, this seafood. A mixture of all these ingredients really tastes like sea urchin. You can actually synthesize sea urchin flavor by mixing up all of these ingredients. Eating only umami components, only umami components could not completely satisfy us because we would get tired of them. We usually enjoy a variety of flavors in our food. Uh, this is a well-designed mechanism that may ensure the intake of wider variety of amino acids. All the amino acids use only four atoms, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, C-H-O-N, except cysteine and methionine. Only these two amino acids use um, S, the sulfur atoms, represented by S right here. The sulfur atoms 
behave just like oxygen atoms, having two hands, having two hands like, right here. The, but most amino acids use only CHON, as I mentioned earlier, to build their chemical structures. In research, and the names of amino acids are abbreviated with both three letter and one letter codes. For example, the three letter code for methionine is MET, and one letter code of methionine is M. In this lecture, we extensively use one letter code. In the next video clip, I'll tell you how to remember them all.